right, um, we are going to finish up section 8.4, um, solving systems of linear inequalities by graphing. Okay, so remember a system is when we have two or more. Okay, um, and I'm not sure why, but for some reason, when you have systems of linear inequalities in two variables, a lot of times it's the or more that you end up with. So you might see something like um, x is greater than or equal to zero, y is greater than or equal to zero, x plus y is um, less than seven, there you go. This might be a, this is a very common, very typical kind of example that you might have. Okay, so let me show you how to solve it. A system of linear inequalities consists of two or more linear inequalities. There's an awful lot of or more um, when we do systems of uh, linear inequalities. The solution set of a system of linear inequalities includes all of the ordered pairs that make all of the inequalities of the system true at the same time. Okay, so remember, we're looking for the intersection, the intersection. I spelled it correctly today. Um, I was really tired the other day. Um, intersection. So um, we're looking for the intersection of um, basically all of the solutions of all of the inequalities. So you remember, um, our inequalities, the answer to a linear inequality is the shading, right? Well, when we have a system, we're going to have more than one equation or inequality have shading. So we're looking for the intersection of the shading. That's what we're looking for, the intersection of the shading. First thing you're going to do is you're going to graph each inequality that includes the shading. That includes shading do not whatever you do do not graph all of your boundary lines and then try to shade it doesn't work it is too difficult to keep track of so shade as you go you graph one boundary line shade graph the next boundary line shade shade as you go okay then you have to figure out the intersection of the shading. Indicate the solution set by shading the intersection of the graph. This is the region where the graphs overlap. Okay, now I'm using a digital marker basically, and it is really difficult to shade lightly versus shading darkly. Well, I suppose I can, but when you use a pen. Um, it's helpful if you have uh, um, like three different colors of pens. Um, some people use um, a highlighter. Um, so they might um, use um, pen um, lightly um, to shade and then the intersection they may go back with a highlighter and highlight their answer. Um, or if you're using a pencil, right? Um, shade lightly, shade lightly, and then wherever the intersection is, then you would go back in and darken it up, okay? So here's what here's what we're going to do. We're going to graph this one and shade it. We're going to graph this one and shade it, and then we're going to figure out where the shading overlaps. Um, I am going to um, use two different colors. So I'm going to use red because that's the default, 3x plus y is greater than or equal to six. I know that you guys want to solve for y and um, graph it with slope intercept form. I'm going to tell you not to do that when you have inequalities. Um, students mess it up when they um, uh, put it in uh, slope intercept form um, inequalities. They, they mess it up. So I'm going to suggest that you don't do that. Um, instead, I'm going to recommend that you plug in zero. If I plug in zero here, this is gonna get, remember we're doing the boundary line, y, three x plus y equals six. I plug in zero and I get y is equal to six. I plug in zero and I get three x is equal to six or x is equal to two. Okay, so zero, six, uh, zero, six and two, zero. 
And because it's equal, I am going to draw it as a solid line. All right, there we go. Shade as you go. I'm going to use zero, 00 as a test point. So I'm going to plug in 00. zero. And I have 0 is greater than or equal to 6, which is false. So I'm going to shade lightly on this side right over here. Okay. The test point was false. That means I have to shade on the opposite side of my boundary. Shade lightly, lightly. Okay. Now I'm going to um, change the ink color here. Um, let's see. Pointer options. Ink color. Let's use. So now I have x minus 2y is less than or equal to 8. Again, it is, um, our, it's already in standard form, guys. Just plug in zero, it's not that hard. We're gonna plug in zero, and I have negative two y. Remember, this is the boundary we're doing right now. Um, divide by negative two, and I get y is equal to negative four. If I plug in y equals zero, I get x is equal to eight. All right, so zero, negative four, and eight, zero. All right, um, again, it is equal to, so I'm going to draw this one solid as well. And again, I'm going to, I can choose the same test point. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to choose 0, 0 as my test point. I'm going to plug it in. 0 minus 2 times 0 is less than or equal to 8. And I simplify, and I get a true. This is true. So that means I'm going to shade. Um, on this side of my boundary line, lightly, shade it lightly, 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 lightly. Shade it lightly. All right. Now, once we've shaded both um, inequalities, or I mean, if we had three inequalities, we would have to do all three. Then we go back and check to see. So I use blue and red. So this just has blue. This just has red, but here I have both blue and red. That's where I shaded both. So now I'm going to go back in and shade this really darkly to indicate my answer. It's got to be dark. I have to know where the what you're telling me the answer is. Okay, so you got to go back and shade the answer darkly. All right, well, I already have blue, so let's use blue. So we have x plus 2y is less than 0. And again, it is, uh, we got to shade, uh, blah, blah. we have to do the boundary line first. Oh, by the way, um, don't let me forget. Um, I'm going to show you why you don't want to put this in slope intercept form. I'll do it for the next one. If we plug in 0, 0 for x, um, we get 0, which means if we plug in 0 for y, I'm also going to get 0. All right, which means I need to pick another point. You know what? I'm going to pick a point for y. Um, doesn't matter. Just pick another value for x or y and then plug it in. So x plus 2 times 1, so I have x plus 2, or x equals negative 2. All right, so these are the two points I'm going to plot, 0, 0, and negative 2, 1. Now, this is not equal to, so I'm going to draw my line dotted, aka dashed. All right, now that's not very straight. Okay, um, remember if the line, if the boundary line goes through zero, zero, we've got to pick a different point. So uh, let's do one, one. One plus two times one is less than zero. One plus two, three, 
this is false. Three is not smaller than zero. So this was, my test point was false. So I have to shade opposite side of the boundary line. Shade it lightly, shade it lightly. There we go. All right, I'm gonna switch colors to red. And don't let me forget to show you why you don't want to graph it, or why do you, why you don't want to put this in slope intercept form if it's already in um, standard form. So I'll do that in just a second. Um, so we got a graph. Um, it's less than twelve. Uh, boundary line first equals twelve and. We're going to plug in 0 for x, um, which gives me a negative 4y is equal to 12, so I get negative 3. Plug in 0 for y, I get x is equal to 4. Uh, so 0, negative 3, and 4, 0, and it also has to be dotted. Dotted. All right. Get, this time I can use zero zero as my test point because my red line, that my red boundary line is not on, um, it, it's not on zero zero. It doesn't go through zero zero. So three times zero minus four times zero is that less than twelve? Um, zero. This is true. Okay, we end up with a true statement. So I'm going to shade here with my red okay now go back and figure out where we shaded twice and we're going to shade that really darkly dark 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 right there okay so now i want to show you um why we don't put this in slope intercept form um so if I were to put it in slope intercept form, I would subtract my 3x. And I have negative 4y is less than negative 3x plus 12. And we divide by negative 4, but because we divided by a negative, we have to reverse the sign, which nobody ever remembers to do. Nobody ever remembers to do. That's why we don't put it in slope intercept form. We just use standard form and plug in 0. So nobody ever remembers to reverse the sign, ever. So don't, don't do this, do this. All right, there you go. Um, all right, 